Cantling Radio, we're here at Cadwell Park and we are speaking to Dame Sarah Storey. Lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. Oh, so uh, you've had a glittering career so far. I've just been going through your information and seeing that uh, we've got um, 22 Olympic medals. Amazing. Um, 11 Paralympic gold medals for five for swimming, six for cycling. Um, eight silvers, three bronze. And we've got 24 world championship titles and uh, 21 European titles, seven World Cup titles and more than 140 national titles. How do you fit it all in? Well, this is my 24th year as an international athlete, I think it is. Um, no, it's, it's sports just been my whole life and those uh, championships have sort of come over the, the, that number of years. But this, this summer, this next month, is the national championships here at Cadwell Park for the road time trial. And for me, it would be amazing to be able to add a national title to that list um, in the road time trial. Uh, it's my, one of my specialist events that I've been defending champion when we go to Rio next year. So I'm here to prepare and to try and get the best um, ahead of time preparation I can, um, ready for race day, which is the 25th of June. Wonderful, wonderful. How do your family manage with this activity? It's just such a great life and it's um, something that Louisa is going to grow up with no doubt uh, unless I retire anytime soon but even then we've got our own cycling team uh, Pearl Azumi Sports Tours International and we ride for the cause of Butat Breast Cancer so um, we just go around the country we stay in lovely places we try and find things to do outside of the sport and try and find a good balance it's a very focused sport like any sport but ultimately a balance is the key to life so uh, we're very focused when we're on our bikes and we know how to have fun when we're not on our bikes um, and for Louisa she loves being around the bikes she loves being able to shout go 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 mummy and wave a flag so I think there are definitely worse environments for a child to grow up with um, and I think already she's very independent she knows her own mind and she's potentially got the attributes of a great athlete so we'll, we'll have to see what she chooses and what she wants to do well, whatever she does you're going to be encouraging her obviously and if she goes to the side swimming you'll be right there shouting on there there I'll be right behind her whatever she chooses to do and if I have to learn a new sport then so be it. If I have to become an athlete in a new sport then so be it as well. I think that's the brilliant thing about sport is you get to kind of choose and as a young athlete I was uh, played county table tennis, I was on the county netball team, I was a runner, um, I did lots of different sports so uh, I think that's definitely the best way to start out and for any young people who are thinking oh I don't really know what I'm go good at, try a bit of everything. You just never know and even at the age of 27 like I did I found out that I was good at cycling so for anyone who's in the you know middle years or later years there's always a sport to discover and I think that's one of the beauties about sport it doesn't have to be for competition it can be for fun and for leisure um, and ultimately I'll be a cyclist my whole life now. My last question is when it was announced you're going to become a day how did you feel about that? I got a letter um, at the end of November in 2012 and I literally had just come home from a training camp and it was about two o'clock in the morning by the time we'd got back from the airport and we just sort of threw the post on the side, but one letter fell out onto the floor and it had the royal crest on it. And it was quite hefty. So I opened it and it said, uh, the Queen, we've, we're subject to approval of the Queen, you've been nominated for a DBE. And I had to Google, D DBE, I was an OBE, and I knew there were CBEs, uh, and I was, DB and my husband Barney was like, that's Dame, Commander, oh my goodness. He was, and I was like, let me check, let me check. And it was just such a surreal thing. I couldn't get to sleep for ages. I was so excited. And you have to keep it quiet. And my husband decided he was going to announce it on Boxing Day because the whole family were together. And that was two days ahead of when it was officially announced. Um, and I was pregnant as well at the time. So he said to the family around the table, um, everyone needs to stand. I'm, I'd like to propose a toast, except for the lady who's pregnant. You can stay seated. So he lifted his glass and he said, I'd like to say, arise, Dame Sarah Story. And everyone just went, ah, so excited. Like, you'd, you know, it was just absolutely brilliant. And we got to go to the palace. Prince Charles presented me with the investiture. And I was eight months pregnant at the time. So we got to chat about babies because he was an expectant grandfather as well. Um, and it was just absolutely amazing. It's not something you can ever plan or ever work towards. It's just a huge honour that's bestowed upon you. Um, and I still pinch myself. Myself, but ultimately it's shared with so many people because the career I've had wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't have been for a huge amount of help and I really hope that um, I can use the title well to help other people in the future. Thank you Sarah for your time. No worries, thank Good you. Good luck for the future. Thank I'm you. Sure you're going to do wonderful things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.